you what a, a baby garden looks like. All of the things in here have been planted, but they're not ready to be picked yet, except for these radishes. We have a whole row of radishes right here. We have onions over there. We have cabbage here. We have tomatoes and squash and all kinds of eggplant. If you don't like eggplant, oh, we make it really good. And down on the end, we have two rows of wild flowers and zinnias because that helps the honeybees because we need honeybees in order to be able to pollinate the tomatoes and all of these other squash and everything that we have in the garden. Honeybees are so important to a garden. So within a few weeks, we're going to have some cabbage. We have one that's almost ready. We've already been picking onions and having those in our salads and things. And we can go pick a beautiful bouquet of zinnias to take in for our table. A garden is a wonderful way to use God's gift to us. So if you have a chance, or if there's not a way for you to have a garden, go to the farmer's market that's closest to you. Now, next time you see the garden, it's going to be really, really ready to pick. Have a great day. We're going to give you an overview of a full garden. And we're going to start with eggplant. I imagine many of you have never had eggplant before, but it really is a wonderful, wonderful vegetable. It has a lot of potassium and all kinds of good vitamins that you can have. And it's really, really good fried or in, in eggplant parmesan. It's really good. So if you ever have a chance, try an eggplant. We have a pepper plant here, and if you've ever had pizza, I imagine you have had peppers on your pizza. Look at all these beautiful peppers that we're going to have, and we're going to have stuffed peppers, and we'll have peppers in salad, and you can fix them in all kinds of different ways. We've already picked most of our cabbage, but we still have some here in the garden. It's we can cook it up this way, or you can put it in soups, or you can put it in slaw. It's a wonderful way to get lots of vitamins from the garden. I bet you didn't know where onions came from, but this is a wonderful, healthy onion. It can be put on your pizza too. And we use onions in lots of different things that we cook. Chicken noodle soup, you can put onions in it. If you wanna have vegetable soup, you can put onions in it. Onions are a wonderful, wonderful way to give a good flavor to anything that you cook. One of the best vegetables in the spring that we have is zucchini. And you can make zucchini bread. And yesterday for lunch, we had zucchini cake. You can just fry it. It's wonderful in salads. There are so many ways that you can fix zucchini. It is one of the best vegetables in the spring that you can have. One of zucchini's relatives is the yellow squash. It's also very, very good in soups and salads and you can fry it as well. And you see this beautiful squash blossom at the end of that. You can even take the squash blossom and dip it in flour and egg and fry it and it's delicious too. One of the really good things that we have in our garden are these cucumbers. This little cucumber right here it's not quite big enough to eat yet, but when it is, we can take it in and we make a cucumber salad, or you can just eat them like they are, or we have these wonderful, what we call freezer pickles, and you can fix them all up and put them in the freezer and have them all year. It's a wonderful way to utilize some of the great gifts that God's given us. Most of you go to the store during the summer to get a watermelon, but we come right out here to our garden and we get a watermelon. Right now, it's just a baby watermelon. One of these days, it'll be like this big around and we'll be able to cut it and eat it and have a wonderful piece of watermelon. I'm standing in front of our beautiful 
zinnia garden. And we have a zinnia garden so that we can have honeybees. Now you can't see this tiny little honeybee that's on this flower, but it's getting the nectar from the zinnias and then it flies off and it goes over to the tomatoes or to the zinnias, or I mean to the, the cucumbers or any of the other vegetables that we have here. And it takes the pollen from one plant to the other plant and that's how we get our vegetables. So it's really, really important for us to take care of honeybees. And that's the reason why we have this wonderful garden of zinnias to help us take care of the honeybees.